Hey everybody, this is David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com. I hope you are well today. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the Entech D Split. Now, I just bought one of these and I've used them a lot of times before, but now that I own one, I want to go ahead and review it for you guys, okay? So, the Entech D Split is simple it's a DMX splitter. So, what it does is it takes DMX in through this side and it multiplies it out. Now when you're working with DMX you can't use a Y cable because it's a digital signal. If you want to split it for ease of cabling or because you need to plug in a lot of fixtures then you need a DMX splitter. Enter the D split. Now, there's a lot of DMX splitters on the market, and you might be wondering what's the difference between them all. And to tell you the truth, you know, there's a lot of things that can go on. There can be some that have some features that professionals really like. Um, there's always durability to be added into the mix, quality. And um, But Entex D Split is one that I identified for quite a while now as really one of the leaders in the low-cost segment. And I want to show you why. The first is that, you know, I've tested and used um, all the other competitors in the low-cost DMX splitter space, okay? There's a few out there um, in this general price range as the same as the Entech D split, which U.S. is under $150. And out of all of them, the D split, I've noticed, has the best connectors, okay? And this is really important because you're going to keep plugging and unplugging in, you know, DMX devices into these things you know, potentially a lot if you work with a portable setup, or maybe they're just going to stay plugged in otherwise. And you want to make sure you've got good connectors. That's something that I know is important to Entech. Also, if you're throwing this, you know, in your gig bag or in some cables or anything else, it's got a really high quality casing. You know, this feels like it's aluminum, this blue bit. Oh, if you're familiar with Entech's DMX's hardware, it's the same box, uh, basically. And then the outside is uh, some sort of plastic, um, but it's um, you know some kind of high grade plastic. It's it's not cheap stuff. You know you could probably smack on it a good bit before you break it. Now, a few things you'll want to know about the D split is it just simply is a DMX splitter, like I mentioned. Um, I've tested it, used it on lots of shows. It works and it's as effective as any other DMX splitter. Now, if you're looking for it to pass RDM signal, that's fixture talkback signal, uh, back from your fixtures to your lighting desk, um, and if you want more on that, I believe I've got a post I'm going to link to, so you can get that info. But um, if that's important to you, the D split's not going to have that, but neither are any of the other splitters in this price range, all right? So when you get your D split, you're going to get the actual D split box. You're also going to get a DMX 5 to 3 pin adapter. In this case, the uh, 5 pin's the female, and the 3 pin is the male, so this end would go to your console if you have a DMX's or something else. This end, the 5 pin, goes into the D split. And you also get a power adapter. It comes with the US and the European adapters, so you just unplug them and uh, plug them back in. And I also think it's really cool that the plug actually spins on this adapter. And so if you're you know using a power strip or you know um, a Furman or you know some sort of rack thing um, you can just simply and easily go ahead and turn this to face whatever way you need to face to make it work with the other plugs you've got set up so it's not a power brick that's gonna take up a ton of space you know and take up three outlets by the time the cord comes out of it you can twist that guy sideways at an angle whatever you need to do to make it work with your setup. So, all in all, do I recommend the Antec D Split? Yes, I do. This is definitely something I'll be using on shows um, and uh, I'll be using in my videos and sharing with you guys because, you know, it's got that great mix of affordability, it's got the features you need, it's got high quality plugs that don't feel like they're going to break on you tomorrow, it's got clear labeling, a great case, and it's not that big either. You know, some other ones are rack mounted and they may only have four outputs, but they take up a lot of space. Whereas this one, you know, it's got four outputs, five pin and three pin, two outputs each. But of course, you can always adapt these to the other. 
you can use all four, you can use one of the four, you can use two of the four, whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review of this D-Split. If you want more, go check out LearnStageLighting.com. I'm going to have some more resources and details um, and information in a post accompanying this video. So be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys around soon. Thanks.